I don't. I just do it. You just want to? Yeah. I rock with it. I could definitely, definitely, definitely be mixed up right. How you doing? I'm Willy Wonka, producer engineer from Washington, D.C. area, currently working with Tokyo Demo and currently working out of Elite City Studios. Recently, I've been working in the studio with the likes of like Light Show, um, Shy Glizzy, been in the studio with Juicy J, Wale. Kind of put in a lot, a little bit of work these last few months and I'm trying to keep going right now. Just working hard. Well, District Elite Studios is a recording studio. Basically, it runs everything, the full aspects of the music, from production, mixing, mastering, even down to just voiceovers. The District Elite handles all that. District Music Group's the management team. It's really like it's the back and behind the projects and back and behind the music. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like the left hand to the right hand. It's straightforward creative, inventive, bringing new music, new vibes, new everything to the situation. You know, a lot of people always wonder what is DC really gonna bring to the music, to the music world, and really it's gonna be DMG. Well, really one of my most memorable sessions was down on Q Street with working with Phil Day. Max Miller came through. At the time, I didn't know who Mac Miller was, but as soon as he came in, like, the energy, everything was right. The record was crazy, and then, like, out the blue, Nice Wonder Jump, like, popped up. He just popped up at the studio. The producer I looked up to, he came through the studio, showed love to Mac, and it was a crazy vibe. It was, we stayed in the studio till for, like, six, seven hours until, like, the record was actually cut, like it was like an overnight session just for one record, but that was just because the vibe was so crazy. And then from that day on, I left knowing who Mac Miller was, and then look what he became. Like, look what he's doing right now. He's just tearing up everything on reality shows. So it just kind of showed me, like, you can be unheard of and be the man in no time if you put that work and grind it. I mean, really right now, I look up to Skrillex. Cause Skrillex kinda came in the game as a dubstep producer and took it to new heights, new levels. He's won Grammys with that performance. Like he's really done it up in the industry. No producers has done it that way or that to that level. Like he's getting booked all over the place just off of basic instrumentals. Really just, it changed the game for me and the way I view production, the way I really thought that just a producer can really go on the level. Like, he took the production aspect and really turned himself into an artist. Some advice I can give any up and coming producer right now is really be yourself, stay true to your sound, stay true to what it is that you want to do, and just work. Stay in the studio, stay grind hard at it, and you're going to get there.